the Duke Blue Devils hold a 30 to seven lead here at halftime. Hey, listen, I checked the entire game plan. There's not a single 23 point play on the game plan, okay? It's fundamentals and do your job. Get on your toes, get downhill, and let's play Northwestern football, all right? All right? I want to see the f***ing heart of a wildcat right now, okay? I want to see us fight and scratch and claw. And Northwestern has some real momentum here. Pressure's on. Holberg lets it go. Intercepted by the Wildcats. Duke's lead has been cut to 10. Let's go! After splitting a pair of home games to open the 2021 football season, the Northwestern Wildcats are hitting the road. Get back to where we should be. Post safety. I know all that stuff. But you know who the post safety though. What does it matter if they're gonna be in the post? It does. <laughs> what right do it matter? What you mean? Who does it matter? They gonna be in the post. Send you them need to, to the know, post. What you need to know who is gonna be in the post? What does it matter? <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> no, see, bitch. I should have know where it's saying, bro. Bro, because if your field safety is supposed to be in the post, but he playing down low, then the boundary is obvious. There's only okay, but then something's open to the boundary. What? Exactly. How? Bro, bro you don't know what you're talking about. Today, the Wildcats will try to make it back-to-back -back wins as they renew their rivalry with the Blue Devils. Give me three, guys! Give me two! Give me two! One! One! Fake backs up, throws, intercepted. Down four scores, Pat Fitzgerald looked to Andrew Marty to provide a spark. Andrew Marty, the senior, coming out at quarterback position for Northwestern. Hurts. Gil Nairo all to the left, single receiver right here on second down and 10. Here is Marty again, dancing in the pocket, wide open, middle of the field and caught for the touchdown. Jacob Gill, Wildcats on the board with 125 to go in this first half. 
facing a 23-point halftime deficit, the Wildcats wasted no time swaying momentum to the visiting sideline. Here's a play fake by Marty, setting it wide open and caught for the touchdown. Short toss to Duran, a flag is down, ball is out. The Wildcats have it inside the 10 at the seven. Rod Hurd recovers the fumble. And Northwestern has some real momentum here. Here's Marty sneaking for it. Marty plows in, touchdown. And the Wildcats are back in the game with 10.21 to go in the third. Wow, how, how fast things change around. Calls his own number and into the secondary and is stripped from behind. And Duke, I think, has it. And Duke with a massive, massive play. And eventually, this Duke offense has to come up with points. Linsky looks like he's going to take over at quarterback. This is the sophomore from Orange, California, transferred from South Carolina, where he played total in 13 games. Linsky led the Cats to their only fourth quarter score. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Plenty of time back across, caught. Leaping catch, Pankow, first down at the 45. Final score, Duke 30, Northwestern 23. The Wildcats made it a game, but ultimately, during their comeback, too many missed chances. And Duke made a couple key plays when they needed to, and walks out with a win. Imagine if we played the way that we played in the second half the entire game. Went by three scores. <laughs> exactly, went by three scores. So here's the thing, here's the thing, okay? It's in us. It's in us. We have it. We have it. We got guys that are going to have to step up. We'll see what, who we get back. Okay? But we got what we got. And what we got is good enough. Yeah. Yeah. I can't show all oh, y'all yeah, my recipes, you know. Do a little something, something. Well, yeah, I just learned from my family, my mom, my sister. Me and my sister battle every holiday to see who cooks better. Uh, I still say I cook better. I'm the people's champ. When we were in uh, quarantine, I really wasn't able to go home. So I had to do a whole Thanksgiving by myself. So like greens, turkey, chick, like everything by myself. And surprisingly, everything came out just like they made it. <laughs> and so, like, I just been like, just been cooking ever since. It wasn't long ago that a transfer on Northwestern's roster was considered a rarity. But as the college football world has evolved to the transfer portal becoming the norm, so has the Wildcats' approach to adding the right fit to their roster. When I first got here, I saw everything and I said, oh yeah, these guys are spoiled. <laughs> uh, this is like, this is, this is peace, peace and harmony. Like there's, you can't be, you can't be angry here. If you're, you're mad here, if you're angry here, you're dissatisfied here, you're just an angry person, in my opinion. Um, it's just good vibes. You gotta get you a little bit of Old Bay in there. Just a little bit of garlic powder, some seasoning salt. Maybe a little Creole seasoning if you want a little bit of a kick. You just gotta like know what you want. You gotta become one with the fish, you feel me? <laughs> Perfect golden brown. There you go. And that's the key. We know that everything that we want is still in our, uh, is still in our view. Uh, Big Ten West, um, bowl games, um, it, all of it. I feel like I've been here for years when I know I haven't. <laughs> and it's like, I never missed a step. 
So like, I kind of feel like we actually like feed off each other. Like one make a play, we get hype. Another person makes a play, we get hype. Like, it's just that type of room. Uh, it's very strong. And we just, we love to grind. At some point, the grind gonna pay off. So when each and every one of us is competing and reaching our common goal, uh, it just helps everyone shine bright. Um, and I couldn't be more more proud of my teammates. Couldn't be more proud of my coaches. Well, actually, the first tip is you got to get good meat. So, as you can see, it has good marbling. You don't want anything all flat and red. It's not going to taste very good because honestly, the fat tastes the best. So, when I was at ODU after. I uh, got mono, then I had to gain weight. I started eating like a steak to two steaks a day. And I was like, well, if I'm gonna do this every day, kinda gotta get good at it, so. Playing where I am now is where I've always wanted to play. So it's almost like everything in my life before this, in my head, has like built up to now. Defensive lineman Jeremy Miser came to Evanston after a canceled 2020 season with Old Dominion kept him off the field for nearly two years. I don't want to do all of this and go through this whole journey and this leap of faith into the portal with thousands of kids. Step, I mean, not many kids got to step up from group of five to power five to mess up now. Like, I didn't come through all of this to be lazy now. The first week felt so weird and like, I don't know why. Um, it felt like a fever dream or something. And then, uh, and I'd realized it had been almost like 600 days since I'd played a game. And it was just like, wow, like I'm a whole different person now. Like two years of my life went by and like I'm still playing the same sport. So knocked the rust off. I'm starting to finally feel comfortable being in a new place, playing football again for the first time in two years. Um, realized that I'm older now. Uh, I'm 20, 30 pounds heavier, so. Guys, so we're gonna pick it up. Well, normally I use my hands, but I'm trying to be non-barbaric. Turn it 45 degrees. If you're looking, it ain't cooking, so. Much rather undercook than overcook. Or letting it catch on fire like that. Let's see what we can do here. Like the Wildcats' start to the season, Miser's dinner may not have gone as planned, but there's still plenty of opportunities to get it on the right track. There you go. The Wildcats have one final non-conference game before restarting the gauntlet of the Big Ten schedule. Taking reps with the first team under center is transfer Ryan Hilinski, who steps into the role of starter against Ohio, armed with one of the team's leading receivers in graduate transfer, Stefan Robinson Jr. I'm, I'm getting them open. I'm getting open. Even I'm coming in, I'm an older guy with them, but like I'm still under their wing. They're teaching me like the way the schemes of the offense. And like if I have a problem with something, I'm going to them to ask them for, for stuff, you know, for information so I can learn. We got to make it more, more indicated. I, I got you. Yeah, I got not, you. Not like you need to rush it. No, nah, I got you. Everything was smooth. Oh, so I was smooth. Not, it, I, my outside shoulder though, like, I don't know. In choosing Northwestern, it came down to culture for Robinson. You know, it's crazy to think he went to college here. I think he's from here. He, when he's from here, went to college here, and he's coaching here. That's like, it's perfect. And then one thing I was looking for, even though I have one year, is like stability. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been here so long, so it's a culture that's built. So that was something I was really interested in. Hell yeah! Right there! Hell yeah! I caught that! Getting y'all following me around. I'll be caught off guard. You're good, Conrad. You gotta dig down deep, man. 
everybody in college football is in the heart of the grind. Everybody with me? Yes, okay. Some teams are undefeated that stink. Those are facts. Okay? There are some teams that are in the, the hole we put ourselves in that will scratch and fight and claw to get out of that hole. And they'll keep getting better and better. That's got to be our mindset. So we got one more physical prep day, but all that does not matter if we don't take it with us to the weekend. Is everybody with me on that? Yes, and that's sir. everybody. Because right now we don't start fast. Right now we turn the ball over. Right now we give up explosive plays and change the narrative. By the way we finish our prep and by the way we play this Saturday. Is everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay. This is not the way I like to coach. I like to have a ton of fun, ton of juice, but you gotta give me a reason to do it. You can't come out to a practice and be half asleep when we start. I would overturn every stone. I would watch every ounce of tape in my free time. I would do everything I could to help my teammates. Are you doing that? Are you doing that? Is that what you're doing? Are you coming to practice if you're a scout guy ready to go? Or are you messing reps up? Because your reps are equally, if not more important. So let's have a better day tomorrow than we had today. Let's start fast, with me? Yes, sir. That mindset of on the attack for the minute we leave this locker room. All right, let's go. Let's go get the job. All right, let's go. Put it on three. One, two, three. Put it on. You know, we all take L's in life, but it's important to bounce back, and that's what the Cats are trying to do this week against Ohio. Well, Northwestern gets better throughout the season. It's estimate to Coach Pat Fitzgerald, their coaching staff. They need to play complimentary football. They've got to play defense, they've got to run the football, and get a more consistent play from the quarterback. Perfect Big Ten football. Late September, clear skies, 11 a.m. kick. What you live for if you're a college football fan. Yeah, no question about it. One final tune-up for Northwestern before Big Ten play begins on the road at Nebraska. There was nothing slow about the start against Ohio as the offense dialed up one explosive play after another. Handed off to Hall. Hall skips his way outside. Reached to the corner, to the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Evan Hall. 17 yards for the score and the Wildcats strike first with 3.38 to go in the first quarter. It's going to be very, very tough for a banged up Ohio offensive line. Love Chris Berg and the way he plays. A lot of returners on this Northwestern defense. Led by the Big Ten's leading tackler in Chris Bergen, the Cats defense limited the Ohio scoring chances. While sophomore Evan Hull proved to be dangerous from any spot on the field. All right, Hill, it's the under center. On first and ten. From the NU 10-yard line, the give is to Evan Hull. Slips through the middle of the line and breaks free to the 20, 25, 30. He's on his way to midfield. He's to the 35, 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. He goes all the way. Touchdown, 90 yards for Evan Hull. And the Wildcats lead it 13 to nothing. Guys, running back Evan Hull knows exactly why he's been open and been able to find pay dirt twice already, and that's because of his O-line. The second he scored that second touchdown, he ran off the field and got into the O-line huddle screaming, that's exactly how it's done, and it happened because y'all sustained your blocks. 224 yards on the ground for Northwestern. And this is who Northwestern wants to be. They want to ground and pound. They want to chew up clock. Third and seven. Claire plants the foot again. Whoa, Andrew Claire with reckless abandon. Rourke with time now, pocket collapses, and he's sacked. It was Cooler with the sack. Rourke a short drop, pocket collapsing, he's sacked. Sacked on the play by Anakamawa Amore. Here's the snap, here is the kick by Kubander. It is up, it is good. The Wildcats will take a 17 to nothing lead to the locker room here at halftime. Finish this game so when we watch this on Sunday, you can't wait to watch the video, okay? All right, get, back, get ready to go, baby. Game plan is what it is, all right? I think we're executing right now, all right? We're playing good defensive football, all right? I think we can crank it up just a little bit. All right? Evan Hull, 181 yards rushing on 17 carries, and two touchdowns. 
handoff will be to Hall, and Hall breaks a tackle, 40, into the clear at the 50, angled out of bounds. And the Wildcats now lead it 20 to nothing, 14.52 remaining. Rourke to throw, looks around, pocket collapsing, down he goes. Third sack of the day, it's Jeremy Miser, the Old Dominion transfer. Snap to Rourke, pops it over the middle, deflected, intercepted by the Wildcats. Intercepted by Brandon Joseph, right sideline and pushed out of bounds. Tyus gets the snap, Tyus up the middle to the 15, breaks a tackle to the 10. Just would not go down to the five. Tyus dives into the end zone. Touchdown. Anthony Tyus with the first touchdown of his career. And the Wildcats take total control of this one with six minutes to go. 26 to nothing. Hands it off. Inside the five. Fighting, reaching for the end zone. Touchdown. Jake Arthur on second effort. Takes it in. The first touchdown of his career. The Wildcats win 35 6. The final score. The extra point will not be kicked. And we will be hearing from quarterback Ryan Polinski. We're going to go to him now with Megan McEwen. Evan had a really good game. Really proud of him. All of our running backs had a really good game. They ran really hard. So um, it's really nice when you have that in your backfield. How much confidence does this win give you guys moving into Big Ten play? I think it gives us a lot of confidence, you know, coming off of a, a shaky loss last week against Duke. Um, the guys just keep battling every single week, and I think that's just what we're going to do every single week, uh, no matter who it is. So we're going to be ready to come next week. Thanks, Ryan. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Healthy and safe. Let's get ready to go. Let's get the win.